Good morning, Christopher Thunder here from Rider of the Storm in the world's dirtiest workshop. Yes, it is early morning. Uh, there is a chicken over there, a rooster that's crowing. Um, I've been up for a couple hours now since sunrise. Uh, the mountains are beautiful. Sorry about the pile of bricks. We're still building and we're loaning those bricks out to other people to, uh, to build walls. So yeah, that's happening. Um, anyway, stop that, you silly rooster. So where does a guy get a motorcycle like this in Malaysia? Well, it turns out that this is my best woman's, okay, it's at my wedding, best woman's older brother. And uh, he's got this Chinese made bike. Um, it has no branding. It, 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 it doesn't have any branding whatsoever. If this thing breaks, you're just gonna to have to cobble some parts together. But I wanted to get a photo of that so we know what it is and where it's coming from and some of the other details. But as I walk around it, you know, other than maybe a low front tire, um, it's in pretty good condition. It's got some customization on it. Um, the engine starts okay. I had to strap up uh, the passenger pegs because they were falling down. Um, yeah, when, when you get bikes like these, the metal in the bike may not have the best strength. Some parts might be weaker than others. Um, usually you can see things like the welds, right? You can tell that that's a Chinese made weld. You know, that's not something that Honda would ever let loose, you know, in their customer base. They, they just won't. Um, I'm gonna have to buy some chemicals, oil, all that stuff. Um, I got a mosquito that's eating me alive on my ankle right now. But uh, that's what it sounds like. It's called an NS200, whatever the hell that means. But it's a combination of engines and engine parts and things like that um, that are generally cobbled together um, to create this you know these are parts from other successful designs that are kind of slapped together to create this now I can see here that you know there's some elements of KTM some elements of Honda and Yamaha um, Brakes are questionable. The suspension is, eh, I don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, I gotta find out who makes that caliper there. Um, interesting, very interesting. So I gotta make a list of uh, fluid locations, things like that. Make sure I, I go through a checklist. And then I'm gonna try and ride this thing. And uh, I'm gonna go up in the mountains with it only 200 cc's when I told the owner that I, I had a 1200 cc VMAX he's like holy crap you know yeah yeah he, he knows this bike is safe which is how I wound up with it he didn't ask for any money I told him I'd make it famous and that's what I'm doing right now I'm making his bike famous so for those of you who are out there in my family who are watching this this is Robert's bike okay and uh it's gonna be globally well known before the week is out, I guess. Um, so, thanks for watching me, Christopher Thunder from Ride with Storm, the World's Dirtiest Workshop. Before you ride any motorcycle that comes from a questionable source, um, make sure you check it over, make it right, because when you return it, you gotta return it in good condition. You know, honor the guy that loaned you the bike. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.